the morning papers will make for grim reading if you're of an Everton persuasion. And especially if you happen to be Ronald Coleman. The Blues boss was the story at Good Ison Park on Sunday, his side torn to shreds by Arsenal at Good Ison Park. Nine games into the campaign, Everton find themselves in the Premier League's bottom three. Only three teams have scored fewer goals, only two have conceded more. The problems are deep-rooted. Here's what the national media had to say about the Blues' latest horror show, read more. Everton 2-5 Arsenal. As it happened. Everton manager Ronald Koeman. Match facts. A bad day all round, player ratings. Everton fans fume. Everton's defense were left exposed time and time again. What we learned. Sport piece I upset Everton fans. Ronald Koeman looks on prior to the Premier League match between Everton and Arsenal at Good Eisen Park on October 22, 2017 in Liverpool, England. Koeman on his future. Laurent Koscielny, of Arsenal, and Everton's Leighton Baines battle for possession during the match. Baines, we are letting ourselves down. Everton manager Ronald Koeman. The verdict. Ronald Koeman and Farhad Mashiri. What the paper said. The Guardian, Komen is scrambling for answers and producing nothing. Andy Hunter, it was a lone voice, but the noise and sentiment will not have escaped Everton's power brokers, Farhad Mashiri and Bill Kenwright, sitting in the front row of the Good Eisen Park director's box. Taxi for Komen came the anguished cry. Other Evertonians laughed. Most headed for the exits. Arsenal then scored a fourth, then a fifth. Turning the screw. Write what you want to write, bristled Ronald Koeman when, having decried the amount of negativity around an Everton team now languishing in the bottom three, he was asked what positives he could see in a comprehensive home defeat. The highly paid manager had needed a show of conviction, of progress and most of all a result with the pressure intensifying and him no closer to a solution to the conundrum posed by the summer's investment of almost £140 million. His team got a sound beating instead. For Komen the focus will inevitably shift towards his future as Everton manager. His team are adrift, without hope and direction. Their manager is scrambling around for answers and producing nothing. Everton 2-5 Arsenal, Komen pressure grows after Gunners dish out good ice and mauling. View Gallery. The Times, the bare facts suggest the conclusion is inevitable. Paul Joyce, Ronald Koeman will not feel like it, of course, but in the end he got lucky. Fortunate that Arsenal did not reach double figures and blessed that, when the final whistle sounded, there were so few Everton supporters left inside Good Eisen Park to unleash the expected torrent of abuse. Condemnation was replaced with a sense of resignation. Write what you want to write was the Everton manager's acerbic parting shot during a brief post-match press conference, but, not for the first time this season, his judgment was skewed. His concerns should not be about those in the press room, but the boardroom. The focus now shifts from the beleaguered Komen, whose side dropped into the relegation zone here following their worst start to a season since 2005-06 and on to the major shareholder, Farhad Mashiri. Mashiri, who had arrived on Merseyside from Monaco via his private jet, was persuaded to buy into Everton having grown frustrated at having no say at the Emirates, where he was only a minority stakeholder. He might consider he should be more careful, what he wishes for as he now debates whether to sack a second manager inside 17 months. The bare facts suggest the conclusion is inevitable with Everton, having now won just two of their last 13 matches and ripped apart here by a free-flowing Arsenal side, who were never going to have their cogens tested in the way which Watford did last weekend. Wayne Rooney scores. Wayne Rooney scores, image, Gareth Copley Getty images, The Telegraph, outplayed, outthought, even outmuscled, Jim White, you know it is not your day. When Mesut Ozil scores a header against you, you know it is not your day when you gift your opponents their first away win of the season. You know the end must be close when you see your team outplayed, outfought and even, heaven forfend, outmuscled by Arsenal. 
you're getting sacked in the morning, was the gleeful cry from the visiting fans as the Everton manager stood, hands in pockets, forlorn and powerless at the game's conclusion. Frankly, after this showing, Ronald Koeman will be lucky to last that long. And to think, after the abject home performance against Lyon, which had done little more than showcase the multitasking capabilities of local fathers as they combine childcare with hooliganism, it had started rather well for the beleaguered Everton boss. There was nothing as likely to rally Blues fans behind him as a newspaper report suggesting David Moyers was being lined up for a return as his replacement. Taxi for Komen, someone shouted as that fifth goal sounded a death knell on the Dutchman's career. By the time the final whistle blew there was barely anyone left to order him one. Ronald Koeman looks on prior to the Premier League match between Everton and Arsenal at Good Eisen Park on October 22, 2017 in Liverpool, England. Ronald Koeman looks on prior to the Premier League match between Everton and Arsenal at Good Eisen Park on October 22, 2017 in Liverpool, England. Image, photo by Gareth Copley Getty Images, The Independent, Everton's problems stemmed from their defence. Samuel Lovett, Everton's poor form has been well documented, but at the heart of their malice is a disorganised and out-of-sorts defence. The likes of Ashley Williams continue to show passion, though not necessarily in the right way, but it's not been enough to whip the back line into shape in recent games. Arsenal's second goal particularly highlighted Everton's weakness at the back. Beating his opposite man to the ball from just five yards out, Ozil headed home his first goal of the season to put the visitors ahead. Moments later it was Ramsey who took full advantage of Everton's lax defending. Like Ozil, he too found himself unmarked and in space as he looked to convert a low-driven cross from the right flank. Had his effort been on the mark, that would have been three there and then. But Arsenal's third was not far around the corner. After Gay's careless dismissal in the 68th minute, an already porous Everton defence was further punctured by Lacazette's well-taken goal after the visitors caught the hosts on the break in a three-on-one. If manager Ronald Koeman is going to arrest his side's slump, he needs to remedy his side's woes at the back. Alexis Sanchez of Arsenal scores his side's fifth goal. Alexis Sanchez of Arsenal scores his side's fifth goal. BBC, Everton look at tactical and technical messes. Phil McNulty, the eerie silence that descended on Good Eisen Park for the majority of the match, was the most ominous symbol of all for Koeman. Good Eisen Park is normally the most hostile of arenas, but the air of resignation was a clear sign how the life and hope has been sucked out of Everton's season after the optimism of that busy and big spending summer in the transfer market. Goalkeeper Jordan Pickford, who stood alone between Everton and an even more serious beating here, has been a shining light since his £30 million summer from Sunderland, and, for all the questions about his signing, Rooney still possesses more class and vision than just about any of his teammates. Other than that, Everton look a tactical and technical mess, the muddled thinking graphically illustrated by the movable feast or famine that is Komen's team selection.